So the Sims 4 team are about to release a new staff pack trailer. The last staff pack that we got was the Home Chef Hustle, which was a major hit. I think everyone kind of loved it. The new kitchen utensils were really, really cool. So the expectations are quite high for this one, especially since we are not getting a new expansion pack in this season. Staff packs don't have the best reputation. Some of them have been great, like the Home Chef Hustle or the Paranormal, while others have been a bit meh like the perfect patio or the cool kitchen one. But I think the Sims team have really, really improved the quality of their recent releases. So I have high expectations for this. Okay, this is about to start, 60 seconds. We'll watch it all together and then we'll go back and rewatch it slowly. This is the first time I'm doing this type of video, so please bear with me. <laughs> I've already liked the video and it hasn't even started. Okay, it says premiere will begin shortly. All right, here we go, guys, two minutes. They were lying to me. You can tell I'm new at this. 30 seconds left. Wow. That's a cool countdown. This is kind of exciting. Let's go. Right, so that's collectibles. We had quite a few of them already. Crystal Creations, Stuff Pack. Right, the decor is quite dark. Okay, you can like kind of mix the materials. Right, that's uh, nice. I guess that's like custom jewelry, as we were all expecting. Oh, they have like special qualities, I guess. Oh, do you see that? They get skills faster with that topaz. Okay. Dreamy Record, Dazzling Style. Okay. So you can wear the things that you design, I guess. Oh, that protects you from death? That's cool. Right. That was interesting. So first impression before we watch it again, I'll say it looks like they've expanded on something that we already have in The Sims, which is the kind of crystal collectibles. So all right, that's cool. And it looks like they've given them special qualities that affect the life of Sims, like how fast they gain skills and things like that. It looks like you can actually influence someone to fall in love with you. Let's watch it slowly again. I don't know if these are new boots or not. They're ugly as hell. Oh, those are probably new boots with the little detail with the crystal there. Yeah, okay. I'm not loving what they're wearing. I mean, it's a bit... It looks like it's going to be a good part for people who likes paranormal stuff, occult sims and all of that sort of thing. It reminds me a little bit of the Spellcaster pack. Crystal Creations Stuff Pack. Let's just stop there for a moment. I mean, the shelf is cute. I love that bedside table. I will be using that. This thing here, I guess it's a lamp. It's also quite cool. I love this and the fact that there is a picture there. I don't know if that's just like a shelf as well. But yeah, this is, this is all right. I won't be using that rug, that I can tell you. Yeah, everything is very kind of like spellcaster vibes. Loving that shelf there again. Okay. Okay, there, there, there. What, what, what? So it says design, jewelry, geomology, skill three. Select design, select metal, select crystal. So you can mix those three things. If charge on the crystal grid, no crystal selected. Right, so here you have like jewelry that look like earrings and here you can filter by what you're doing so yeah it's all jewelry actually as we all expected you have necklaces rings bracelets 
earrings. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I don't know if we will get more crystals or not, but look, if charge on the crystal grid, so there must be like a crystal grid where you can put it, and then that's what gives you the special features. So embarrassed smoothlets will fade much faster, sims will not have uncomfortable romantic interactions, sims will not have awkward woohoo encounters. Okay. So it is similar to the spellcaster kind of thing. It could be an addition to that. Right. I don't think they're happy with that, but okay. Okay, let's let's see what what we have there actually. I guess for this they've used debug, or maybe they've mixed two types of fences. That's interesting. I don't know if this window is new. I don't think any of these are. Uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty basic house. Yeah, that's lovely. If you like that type of thing. Okay, so here is where she's planting one of the crystals, thinking of love, and I guess they want to... They want for this person to fall in love with them as well, this sim. So that's interesting. Jet. Sims can summon the Green Reaper at will if charged on the crystal grid. Yeah, so there is a crystal grid where you can put the items that you create and they have a special stuff. And look, this is the necklace that they're wearing at the end where the, the Green Reaper don't take them. Cool! All right, that must be the grid they were talking about before. Okay. Yeah, so it's charged. Now they're charging it. All right. Okay. Orange to bad seems gain, seems gain creative skills faster if charged on the crystal grid. Okay, I like that. So you have to charge the crystal, and I guess you can charge them, but they discharge over time when you keep using them. So that's good. It doesn't give you like an unlimited power or potential or whatever. Wow, there's a lot of things. A star, necklaces, earrings. Okay, look, I don't particularly like jewelry in The Sims 4. I don't think I'm going to start liking it after this in the sense that it always looks very bulky and wonky. And But I think this might expand the opportunities and I love the special features. I, I love that sort of thing. So that part I will be using. Now, that's a lovely ring. So the first scene put that in the ground so the other sim fell in love with them and then the other sim has crafted a ring to propose this is the ring yeah they're using to propose <laughs> that's cute that's cute discover dreamy decor call it dreamy decor okay call it whatever you want i don't know if it's dreamy it is cute though that the, the table is nice that tree is gorgeous so i do i do like the decor the style oh this is this is i'm more interested on I love a bit of fashion. I don't know about these hairs, if these hairs are new, but I love this hair. I think it is new, this hair. That's for female and male scenes, so that's great. I don't like these full costumes, but I do like these. I hope they're also individual. Ooh, that's a beautiful hair there. Gorgeous. Okay. Definitely love this bookshelf. I don't know if this is a shelf or window. This is okay. And then, yeah, this is the end when they're waiting for death, but they're wearing the necklace. Oh, maybe I can get that necklace for Bella God so she never dies. Okay, available then 29th of February. And actually, there's a bit more information in the description. Craft dazzling jewelry and give your creations a spark of power with the Sims 4 Crystal Creations Stuff Pack, launching February 29th at 10 a.m. PT. That is 6 p.m. for the UK. It's time to try out a shiny new skill, Gemology. Pursuing this new passion will have your sims collecting materials and customizing jewelry to wear, gift or sell. Besides looking radiant, these pieces can be charged in the moonlight to bestow a variety of effects on their wearers. Want to help your sims succeed? Charge up some earrings with a simony crystal to kickstart their career progression. There are 11 different jewelry cuts and 27 possible effects. Wow. And that's not all. This pack has everything you need to create a cozy workroom for your sims to craft in as well as new casts, including a dreamy new jewelry set created in collaboration with Simmer Arethabi. Nice. Collaborations are always a good idea. That sounds really good. There's also a website. All right, here we go. Craft your crystal jewelry with the Sims 4 Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. Design dazzling jewelry that puts you at the center of crafting and creation. Okay. 
players can unlock a new gemology skill that will have your scene collecting an assortment of colorful crystals and metals to customize stellar creations that can affect scene moods, relationships, careers and lives. Display new beautifully cut crystals around the house, use them for crafting stunning pieces of jewelry, and charge your crystals in the moonlight to uncover new unique properties. Oh, that's really cool that you have to charge them just with the moonlight in the crystal grid. You can handcraft engagement rings, that is so lovely. And it can be sold for simoleons. Anything can cultivate their own style that will be seen by all, right? There is a picture here similar to the video. I mean, it's the same to the video. I must say that this jewelry looks really, really pretty. So that's nice. This outfit I like. Wow, it says that with crystal creations, a sim can create over a thousand different permutations of bejeweled items, choosing to make a, fa a fashion statement, declaration of love, or a sparkling gift for a friend. That's awesome. A thousand is a lot. So there is a new skill and that's fine. 22 metals, 10 different cuts, including a heart, a plum bob, or a gnome shape. Lol. <laughs> the gemology skill can be boosted when a sim reads the gemology skill book and when a sim continues to craft crystal creation at the gemology table. That's cool. There's also another picture here. The crystal grid here looks awesome. It's obviously not going to look like that in game, but it looks great. And there is another one here. That's nice. Connect with crystal energy. Don't you just love a little moonlight? We sure do. We're excited to share that Crystal Creations utilizes the base game Lunar Cycle. Sims can search out crystals on their computer or pluck them off a crystal tree. And once the crystal is cut into a gemstone, the jewelry and gemstones can be charged with the crystal, determining the effect. That's awesome. The objects must be placed on the crystal charging grid. One charge, Sims can wear or display their pieces, experiencing the effects of the crystal to positively or negatively impact relationships, emotion, and in-game progress. Depending on the crystal, the effect of the charging may wane over time and your sins will need to recharge to feel the full effect once again. That's cool. So I guess there will be... Oh, yes, look. I was going to say, there should be some cross-pack gameplay and it says, find different varieties of crystals around the sins for work, including all of this for the base game, but then you have the Sins for Get to Work expansion pack, Common, Neat Elite, Clandestine, and then more for Jungle Adventure, and then three more for Crystal Creations. That's cool. All right. Another picture here. Yeah, you can see. Look at this. They look like Cinderella shoes. Lol. I like this dress. I like this cardigan as well. And that looks like a cool earring. These outfits are a bit more like witchy kind of look. I mean, they're cool, but... Not my style. The Sims 4 collaborated with Sim Arathvi to develop a dreamy set of jewelry available in Create a Sim featuring a necklace, a ring, and earrings. Her designs are delicate and sophisticated and a perfect addition to this sparkling pack. Also, there's going to be a game developer walkthrough on Wednesday, February 28th on the Sims official Twitch and YouTube channel. Okay, looks good. And this is Arathvi. I'm like... This looks like Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's Tay hair. <laughs> it's Taylor, right? It looks exactly like Taylor Swift. That's awesome. That's so good. Oh, it's so exciting. I love that she's collaborated with it. I'm excited to see what she's come up with. Because, yeah, jewelry in The Sims 4 can be quite bulky. So I'm looking forward to see what a creator of the community has done. That's That's really cool. That's awesome. Well, this definitely got me interested in crystals in a way that I've never been before. I don't usually play the collectibles part of The Sims 4 unless I can really actually do something with it. So this might actually get me into crystals. And there's lots of people actually that they are into crystals and the special powers and features that they bring to our lives. So yeah, this is a, you know, this is a good stuff pack. And it looks like they've given some depth to the gameplay as well. So it's not just stuff. It actually has a meaning and it actually has a purpose and you can actually create a storyline and bring it to life. And, you know, I mean, to be honest, you know how people is like my unbiased opinion on The Sims 4 or on this expansion pack or whatever. I should say my biased opinion because I usually just love everything about The Sims. So I'm not sure if I'm the best person to react to videos, but you know what? I am the best person because I've been playing The Sims since The Sims 1 for over 20 years. So I know about The Sims. And I'm a classic Sim player. I love The Sims. So I'm always kind of positive when it comes to new stuff. Of course, I get disappointed sometimes, but you know, this for now looks good. 
I love it. And I love these trailer packs. I think they're doing a great job. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, if you think I should do it more often, or if you think there's enough of this and people, you know, we don't need another opinion there. I must still do it anyway, but, you know, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Just like the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!